to keep you updated, Listín Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, presents the most important news of the day. Wednesday, September 27th of 2023. Former President Leonor Fernandez proposed that the government through the Foreign Ministry request the Organization of American States to call a meeting of the Foreign Ministers of Latin America to discuss the issue of the construction of the canal over the Masacre River. Given the closure of the border caused by the impasse generated between the Dominican Republic and Haiti due to the construction of an irrigation canal on the Masacre River, there has been a decrease in the presence of Haitian workers in the agricultural fields in Valverde. A systematic increase in hospitalizations of patients with suspected dengue fever maintains the Robert Reed Cabral Children's Hospital, going from an average of 45 and 47 patients admitted weeks ago to reaching 86 hospitalized yesterday. The Superintendents of Health and Occupational Risk submitted to the National Social Security Council nine health coverage proposals that seek to reduce the out-of-pocket expenses of system affiliates. Although the Asian population is increasing in the country, very few hospitals have geriatric consultation services, with the majority of specialists concentrated in the capital. Artificial intelligence is a topic of conversation in academies, in a business circles, in human talent training centers, and the media, and a debate has begun to emerge about the ethical limits of its application in each of the areas of human life, but especially in education. The Ministry of Education not only recognized the existence of a spelling and typographical errors in textbooks that have been distributed in schools during this period, but also claimed to have corrected those for mathematics and social science corresponding to the third grade of primary school. The school transportation program of the Ministry of Education will begin expanding its coverage in Gran Santo Domingo starting the first week of October, when about 200 buses will begin to join new routes. The Control General of the Republic reported that with an investment of more than 550 million pesos, nearly 100 focused and specialized audits will be carried out each year and at the same time, a system of automatic alerts programmed with algorithms will be introduced as well as the Auditor Digital. After more than two years in prison of the United States and several attempts to remove him from his seat, the representative of the Modern Revolutionary Party for the province of Santiago, Miguel Gutierrez, resigned from his position. For this and more information, you can visit listindiario.com for Listing Diario voiceover and translations by Indira Rodriguez. To keep you updated, Listing Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, presented the most important news of the day.